So in the last video, we implemented um, a card view and then you could click the card view. And um, well, I was talking about the back button and maybe the difficulties in implementing it, but I was thinking a bit too far. Um, actually implementing it is just uh, putting an href back to the list view and done, it's implemented. I was thinking about how to basically capture uh, the view and then if you click on it and then you would go back it would be like uh, window.history back in a sense that it would be like a history click and in this way if you had the back view component you could always just uh, use it without specifically um, having to say or having to, to deal with uh, the previous state but uh, this is a simpler Im implementation where you just I go back and forth. Uh, now, I actually don't really like this uh, kind of uh, card view. Uh, for mobile, there's like padding on the side. And uh, in this video, I want to re-implement uh, that card view to be more like what, what is commonly called a, a table view. Uh, so to do it, I'm going to base myself on uh, the card view. Uh, but I, I will um, call it table view instead. Uh, so if we go into components here um, and then into UI, um, we can uh, make a new uh, component called table view. That's help. And then I also know that I'm going to need another uh, component called table view item. That's help. And um, to implement a table view, uh, the way it's going to work is that um, the markup is going to be a uh, table view and then table view item inside of it. Uh, so let's um, create a table view first. Um, so this is going to need a slot. Uh, and then this is also going to need a slot. Uh, so that's the simplest implementation uh, that I can have. And then let's go to the list view um, and create imports. Uh, so import table view from components UI table view and import table view item from components UI table view item. Uh, so the table view and table view item uh, are both uh, imported. Uh, so let's uh, create our table view here and then also inside of that uh, let's uh, create a table view item and I'll just put some text in there so we can see what we're doing uh, so the first item is hello and the second item is world uh, so here we have our two items hello world okay so great uh, so uh, table view is a bit like card list, I guess. Let's check the code of card list um, and let's see which kind of um, markup, what kind of markup we can try to reuse. Well, we don't need this margin, uh, but we could use a div uh, class is card list, but it would be a div class is table view instead. Uh, so let's uh, do it like this. And then, um, well, my mind is thinking about tables right now. Should it be a table element? But actually, we're simulating a list. Uh, so perhaps it should be an unordered list. And then every slot within uh, should actually uh, be a, a list item. Because uh, if, you, if you make components like this, you should always be thinking about uh, the semantic HTML behind them. Um, so, uh, this item will uh, then be a list item. So, let's look at uh, the resulting output if we change it. Uh, so, now it's a list. But because I use a HTML reset or, or a CSS reset, you don't really see that it's a list, but it's a list. Um, let's give the Lee a class of table view item. And here I'm actually using like bootstrap style classes, whereas for the 
past few years, I've used uh, them IT CSS style classes, but uh, I find them a bit annoying, and they were uh, meant to uh, to have namespacing and logic in HTML. But because of Svelte's logic uh, of um, having uh, styles contained within a component, you don't actually need uh, that specific uh, naming because um, Svelte does things that kind of avoid the problems that that naming brought in the first place. It's a bit complex, but if you've, if you've spent any time uh, with BEM and ITCSS and Bootstrap as well, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's continue our implementation. We have the table view and table view item. Um, and then um, on our list view, uh, we have a uh, table view item. And um, let's also use um, the, the same um, iteration of the data. Um, so the each uh, loop that we had for the cards, uh, but we're going to reuse it uh, for the um, table view. So now, because we have four items in our array, we have four times hello. Um, and then uh, in our table view, um, let's just make it easy for now and copy paste this content. Um, so we have some content in our table view item. And then um, let's also re-implement the href. Uh, so on table view item, we have the href property and we can use the same code that we used on uh, cart. Um, so here, uh, export let href. Um, so we add this to the table view item. Um, then on the... Um, card, uh, we have a wrapping anchor um, with the value, so we re-implement that. Then we also have styling, uh, but it's, it's kind of the styling that we want to change, um, but we're going to be able to reuse this kind of like logic uh, with, the, with the flexbox, uh, so let's also uh, do that. Um, now. Um, what I want to change here, um, or uh, let's let's take the card um, CSS and then uh, reapply it uh, to the detail item. But let's uh, change it, uh, of course. So we don't really have a card; we just have a table of your item with an A inside. So let's get rid of the, the card logic and let's see which kind of things we have to apply it here. So since we have a table view item, uh, let's give it a border bottom uh, with a gray color. And then uh, this is still relevant to get rid of the text decoration. This is for positioning, so it's also still relevant. Uh, so let's see what it looks like. Uh, so I have a reference error again for icon. Uh, so I'm just going to do the import as well. Um, and let's see what this does. So now I have a table view instead of a um, uh, card. Uh, just to make sure that I don't really lose any information or have like an example of the card UI, I'll just uh, put a card inside of the detail uh, just to remember that I have this card around. So inside of the detail, let's uh, put a card uh, with some content inside of it. And I'm just using H4 and title and a paragraph and some extra info here. So this way I will remember that I have a card, but I actually don't really want this um, interaction that the card is going to a detail here. So I'm going to remove uh, that uh, only if a uh, card. Uh, I'm going to change the logic, so only if the card has an href attribute, it should show uh, the, um, the the chevron. Uh, so here, um, this one, I can use if href slash if. And then uh, normally, if I did it right, this is going to disappear. 
Uh, so we have a variant of our card that is not clickable. Um, but um, I think the markup is still a bit wrong. This A element is going to be rendered even if we don't really have an href element. So if we would look at the markup, um, it looks a bit broken because there's a div and there's an A and then a div and a div and so much divs. Uh, so basically, uh, we want to write our code in a different way. Um, for example, if there's an href, uh, do this style of markup where we have a chevron. Um, else. So let's put a chevron there. Else we can simplify it and we can just have the slot. So we don't, don't need like, all that extra markup. Um, we can just uh, get the content that is put in the uh, other template and uh, render it into an, a, a slot. And a slot is uh, for those who don't know, because I also just recently learned about this. Uh, it's, uh, it has something to do with web components and it's this kind of uh, element that uh, you can put content in from another uh, part of the template. Now, if we see this, we see that there's actually a new problem that occurs, like the padding is on the A element, but here we want the padding on the, well, on the card itself. Uh, now, if we would add the padding again on the card itself, we would uh, then have a problem um, if the card would have uh, a link. Uh, so, uh, what we will need to do to fix this is that um, uh, we will make a modifier class uh, card with link and only if a card is a link I'm gonna give it um, or car card is not link I'll give it padding but I don't really like using negation in class names because um, it's just very confusing uh, so I'll just uh, put on the base implementation padding but if the card is a link, uh, I will remove the padding. Uh, I think that's clearer code, uh, so people don't really have to backtrack. Uh, the base card implementation has padding. If it's a link, the padding is on the link itself. So we're resetting here, but only in the name of uh, clearer code. Um, so how to do those variants then? Let's make it a kind of like a unit test in a sense that uh, we will um, have a card and then uh, a card with a link. Uh, so this href, for example, would link to, um, yeah, well, to, well, slash, just slash is fine because it's just, uh, it's not a purpose to test the views, it's a purpose to test those links. So now we have the problem that we have to double padding here. Um, so let's get rid of that uh, by implementing uh, within the card component that, um, we add the class card is link, but only if href is there. Um, so uh, the way you do it, uh, the class is card is link, uh, but only if href is uh, true. So um, if we then implement that, um, let's see if it works. If href plus card is link. So it's not working, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, so this card doesn't have an href, this one does have an href. href is passed uh, to the card as a prop. The default of the card is that the href is null. Um, okay, so I'm not sure why it's not working. Uh, so let's see if the class is actually added here. So this class is added here. Um, the card is link, but actually the card class, um, it should be on the card itself. Um, it's not, uh, it shouldn't be on the, on the inner A, it should be on the card itself. So that's the problem. And now we have a working implementation. 
where there's a clickable card and a non-clickable card. Now, this looks a bit ugly, uh, so I'm just going to remove the clickable card because that code was written uh, more for like uh, testing purposes. Um, but since I made all these new components, um, I should document them. But documenting is food for another video.